We are in room 3206. Got a small kitchenette with a apartment size refrigerator, a microwave, a little two burner stove, dishwasher, and a sink. There's a Keurig coffee maker, plates and glasses, and a little dining room table. Oh, there's a wash and dryer. Oh, there is? Yep. Yep. A little nook for a closet space. And this is the living area. So again, you have the table, couch, chair, and a TV, wall mounted. Bedroom has a king bed. Little sitting area. Bathroom with a single vanity sink. Some flowers. These real? No, they're not, are they? And here's the bathroom. Another sink, toilet, and a shower. So tonight we are eating at Latitudes, which is the restaurant inside the hotel. I don't usually comment on the bread, their bread selection is really, really good. Okay, I am having the shrimp and lobster tail chorizo with Brussels sprouts. Mmm. And Janetta's having the, wow, the black and sea bass. That thing is huge. <laughs> with uh, sweet potatoes, it's sweet huge. Sweet potatoes and asparagus. We did not know it was going to be so much. Right, so this was this was real good, but it's way too much food. <laughs> so this will be lunch or another day. Oh yeah, I can take it. Get you Dry Dock Waterfront Grill. Look, they have like a, a drink elevator. It's a drink elevator. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Having our island drinks. Pina coladas. We're trying them at every place. Here you go, Mr. Bar. Here comes the dumbwaiter for the bar. Yep. It yep, empties. It's probably got an order with the box, got to check it.
calamari with sweet chili sauce and something else. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't pay attention. And then Janetta has the muscles. Okay, I had the lobster roll combo, which is lobster roll and lobster bisque. Janetta had the seafood linguine in the Tuscan cream sauce. Mm -hmm. Alright, I think we can wholeheartedly recommend the Dry Dot Waterfront Grill. Very good. I ate all of my food. Janetta, I can not so much. Her eyes were bigger than her stomach. Today we are on Lido Key and this is St. Armand Square. It's a shopping area and restaurants. I'm gonna go in there and get some gelato. Oh, I think I want to try. Yeah, I want to try some. And Janetta had the snails. Alright, so I had the pepper steak, and that is one huge hunk of meat. Janetta had the Phil Nemo. And then for sides, we got the truffle potatoes and cream spinach. Much better in the middle. <laughs> I thought it was overdone. Okay, this was a lot of food. And uh, Janetta's didn't agree with her too much. We're thinking the discussion ate too much today. But we're taking stuff home. We'll drive it back to Ocala tomorrow, and we're going to have dessert. This is the <laughs> famous apple walnut crumble pie, Bala Mode. They have some huge portions here. Absolutely. All in all, Longboat Key is worth a visit. For restaurants, Latitudes was very good. Dry Dock Waterfront Grill was excellent, and Euphemia Hay was good. It wasn't the best French food, but it also wasn't the worst. The resort at Longbow Key was very nice. I'd give it about a three and a half stars out of five. It mostly caters to families, as you can tell by the pool noise outside of our balcony. But one thing Jeanette and I definitely agree on is that the Gulf beaches are cleaner, nicer, and the water's just so much better than those on the Atlantic. Our next trip scheduled is not until August, but there are a few things going on in the community that we might make a video of. See you next time.